Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Windows 11, just to let you know that it seems that Microsoft is starting to roll out the update that improves the reliability of the Windows Update Service components once again, which is an update we talk about quite a lot on the channel, KB4023057. And they do push this out on a regular basis. You may have seen this over the last couple of days. You may have not, but just bringing it to your attention just to keep you posted. Now, the last time this update was installed in my Windows 11 system, uh, if we move down here, we can see that was on the 30th of August. So as mentioned, they do push this out um, sometimes almost on a monthly basis. But um, I see it's rolled out um, today on the 1st of December in my region. I'm not seeing it on Windows 10 only Windows 11, and this does roll out to different regions at different times. Now, what the update does, um, it addresses issues that affect the update process in Windows 10 and 11 that may prevent Windows updates from being installed. And this is an automatic compulsory mandatory update that will be downloaded and installed automatically. It really takes a couple of seconds. Sometimes you won't even notice that this update has been installed, and it doesn't require a system restart. I've never had to restart my system after the update has been downloaded and installed. Now what the update also does, and just a quick recap, if we head over to our apps, installed apps, what the update does once it's been applied on your system, it will install a very small app called the Microsoft Update Health Tools. Here we go, which you can see was also installed on the 1st of December. And it's only 1.02 megabytes in size. But although this is a very small tool, it actually is responsible for a couple of important maintenance tasks on your system. And what it will do if it um, picks up issues on your system, because as mentioned, the update is rolling out to make sure that there are no issues preventing Windows updates from in, being installed on your system. What it may do is it may try to reset network settings if problems are detected. And it will also clean up registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. It also may repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components. And it also may compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates. And as many of you may know, you need a certain amount of disk space for updates to be installed. So if that is not the case in your system, it will start compressing user profile directory um, files in that just to get the relevant space needed and it may also reset the windows update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from installing successfully now although um the update kb4023057 as i've mentioned previously cannot be uninstalled this tool can be uninstalled so if you click on the little menu you can see you can uninstall the tool but just a heads up if you uninstall it now for whatever reason the next time the update rolls out again, which it does on a regular basis, uh, it's just going to reinstall that tool. So just take note of that. And we are expecting to get the optional bug fix C release update for November rolling out any day now. So maybe this is Microsoft just getting a couple of systems in order before they push that update out. Because as mentioned, this um, update prevents... Um, issues that prevent important Windows updates from being installed. So 4023057 seems to be on its way now to Windows 11 again. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.